One of the things that I love most about Verbum is that I can carry my entire library and almost all the tools that it offers in my pocket using the mobile app. And in this video, I'd like to show you a little bit about how to use the mobile app, give you some tips, and also how to use the mobile app to read books. Oftentimes we have uh, these books in our library that maybe we want to read from start to finish. How can I do that using the mobile app, using reading plans? How can I study the scriptures using the mobile app? Here on uh, my tablet, I have the Revised Standard Version open to John chapter 1, where Jesus calls the first apostles. We can see here that I have access to all of my notes, this, the, the scripture passage. I can tap here on the note on verse 38 and it pops up. I could then open up this reference to John 20, 15 just by tapping on it and uh, follow that further if I want to continue investigating. To scroll up and down, uh, simply you can simply uh, drag up and down on, on the text. Tap anywhere on the screen to bring up the menus that are the panel that's on the top and also on the bottom. Notice up here on the top, I have a place where I could type in the reference that I'm looking for in the scriptures. But also I have this table of contents indicator. And if I tap on that, that will open up a verse picker if I'm in the Bible or a more traditional table of contents if I'm uh, in, a, in a normal book. I'll go back here to the verse picker for the scriptures. I can simply choose that and then uh, click go to navigate anywhere in the scriptures. One of the things that I love about studying the scriptures with the mobile app is that I can simply long tap on any word, for example, this word, what do you seek? If I long tap on this, Verbum will pull up a small menu here with some options, for example, to create a note, uh, to add a clipping, and so on. But also notice this pop-up window here. It tells me what's the Greek text behind. Also, if I uh, scroll down here a little bit, it gives me a little definition from my prioritized lexicon. And I can also run straight from here a, a study on the word uh, zeteo. I can choose here study and it'll open up a Bible word study on the word zeteo with my uh, dictionaries here up at the top as well as a translation ring. I can click here to see uh, all of the instances in which this word is translated as sought or as seek, seeking and study this word in the scriptures. To get back to my Bible, I can simply tap anywhere. And down here below, notice the tab reference. If I click on this, Verbum opens up a view with all of the tabs that I currently have open. And I can uh, drag right or left to, uh, and then click on the, the tab that I want to open. I can also, when I have the, these tabs open, I can also simply swipe to the right or back left and, uh, and that na navigate in that way between the different tabs. Now let me show you a tip. Here I have my Bible open, but what if I want to read my Bible together with a commentary? Well, that's also possible from the tabs view here. Notice this little button in the upper right. This indicates a split screen view, and if I click on this, it offers me the option to open a second book from my library that will be in the split screen. So if I tap on this, we see now the library view. And I could choose, for example, here I have the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible and open this up. And there's an option here in the upper left to link panels. Currently, if I zoom in on this panel and I start navigating in my Bible, notice that the commentary doesn't move with it. But if I tap again here to bring up the, the, the panels view, and I come up here to the link option and click on this. Notice here what this little description. When linked, tabs with a common structure will scroll together. And this tab here has a blue icon. If I click on this one to add that blue icon there as well, the link, now these two panels are linked. And I can come up here and choose Done. There's also, notice here, the option to select all and deselect all if you have multiple uh, panels or tabs that you would like to navigate together. I'll simply click done here and then tap here again to open up this view. And now as I scroll through my Bible, notice that the commentary is scrolling with it. So that is very useful uh, as a way to study the scriptures using your phone or the, uh, your, your tablet. Now I want to give you a tip as well about how to use your, you may want to use your mobile app 
with the RSV Bible in particular. If I tap here on the screen, notice the next to the table of contents, there are three little dots. And if I click on this, I get in a panel with different options where I can change the size of the text. I can open up a passage guide. But notice this option here, play audio. The RSV includes with it, in verbum, depending on your package, the Truth the and Life by um, Audio Bible. We have found the Messiah. Which you can Messiah now hear playing. Christ. Andrew And it's a, a, very, a very professional recording of the scriptures, very enjoyable to use. If you want to listen to the scriptures, I highly recommend it. And it is synchronized here to uh, the RSV CE Bible. Now we've seen how we have notes in the mobile app. What about highlighting? To highlight a word, simply long click on a word, just like we did before, but then start dragging. And notice here what Verbum does. It automatically highlights the text that I have uh, dragged over using my preferred highlighting color. And now I have that highlighted. If I want to edit this, I can simply click on it once, tap on it, and now I can change the color, or in this case, I'll simply delete that. Now we saw briefly the library when we opened up the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible here. To access the library normally, what you'll do is come down to the library icon here. And if I simply tap on this, it opens up. Notice here that it is sorted by recent, and I can change that to sort by title or also by rating if I prefer that. I usually like to leave it on recent because I'm usually using the same books uh, over and over again at, uh, during a certain period of time. Also here, I can simply tap in, in here and begin typing to begin filtering my library. Also there is the filter button here and this offers the type of filters that we saw uh, that Verbum offers in the filter pane in on the desktop version. Notice here I can filter by subject or I could filter by the type. Maybe I just want to see the Bibles and if I click on this now and click done, now I'm only looking at the Bibles in my library and I can simply clear this by tapping on the X there to remove that filter. Now let me give you a tip in the library. If you're using a book a lot, if you're reading it, I highly recommend that you choose to download that book to your library. You can see that here in my library I've downloaded some of these books because they have this little check mark. All the books that have a check mark have been downloaded to your library. And If I want to download an additional book, say I want to download the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, I can simply tap on the download icon and Verbum will begin downloading that book. And you can see uh, the progress as it goes and downloads it. There's also this, uh, these three dots next to each book. And notice here I have Teresa of Avila, the interior castle, for example. I can tap on these three dots and I get an option to remove a download if it's been downloaded, but also to start a reading plan or to add a book to a read later queue. In this case, I've already added it to a read later queue, so I get the option to remove it. What's that about? Notice up here we have books and we have a reading tab. If I click on the reading tab, you can see here that I have a reading plan to, to read through Verbum Domini. And I also have a read later tab. And if I click on this, I have two books here that I wanted to simply save to my read later tab. And this is a great option because you may have hundreds or even thousands of books in your Verbum library, and obviously you can't read them all, but maybe you come across a book that you really want to read, you don't have time to read it, just add it to the Read Later queue, to that tab, and it'll be there later for you. You won't have to worry about forgetting about it. I'm going to go back here to the library. Let me show you how these uh, reading plans work. If I scroll up here, I have uh, the option to open up The Fulfillment of All Desire by Ralph Martin which is a great book about the spiritual life. Say I want to read uh, through this as a reading plan. I can come up here. I could have done it from the library as well, but notice as well that I can do it from this panel up here. And I can choose Start a Reading Plan. And Verbum offers me then a, already a division of this book in according to chapters. So that's really helpful. And I can change the schedule. I like to leave it usually just at my own pace. I could even read with a group. If I have a faith life group, I'd like to, to read with. And I can simply click Start here. And Verbum is going to create a reading plan for me. And that opens up. And here are the different sections. 
If I have already read part of the book, not a problem. I can simply check off here those chapters that I have read. Say I've read through chapter two already. Now I'm beginning with chapter three. And then I can uh, tap here on read. And Verbum offers me now the plan to read through this chapter. Once I finish the chapter, I select finish. And now let's say I'm just going to go to my uh, reading plans overview. See here now I have two different reading plans. And I can simply tap on those to continue reading either of those books right from where I left off. So that's a great way. And I want to invite you to think about what some of the books in your library you might want to read as well as maybe a plan to read through the scriptures. If you haven't read through the entire Bible, Verbum can be a great tool to do that. There's this button here, plus, and if I choose to, uh, here I can choose uh, a resource. If I choose, for example, to read through the RSV Bible or any translation that you prefer, Verbum automatically creates a plan for me to read through the Bible. And there's actually a number of different plans if I select if I tap on that option, I can scroll down here and see a number of plans based on specific topics but in the scriptures. But also here down below, there are plans, for example, about uh, reading it through the Bible chronologically or uh, reading through it historically. So different ways that you can read through the scriptures. I invite you to take one of these plans, read through the Bible if you haven't done it. This is a great opportunity. And notice here that Verbum... Uh, if I choose uh, just the, the, the standard plan to read through the Bible, Verbum is creating this for me, and it's not too overwhelming. It's just three or four chapters a day usually, and it's divided up automatically into 365 sessions, so I can go through the scriptures in, in an entire year. So a great option there to dive deep into the Word of God. Now I'm going to go back to the tabs view here, and just show you a few more tips about how to use this tab. If I'm finished with this tab, I can either click on the X button here, or I can swipe up, and that will also close any tab that I'm not using anymore. I could also uh, swipe up here to close this. Say I am uh, happy with this tab, uh, with this division of tabs here, and I'd like to save this for future reference. Uh, I can come down here to the bottom left and there is an option to save a layout. If I click on this, I can uh, choose at the plus button here and I can give it a name. Maybe I could call uh, this fulfilled. This is my, uh, my layout say to read fulfill, fulfillment of all desire, fulfillment. And I can save that. And now this is available for me whenever I want to come back to this particular layout of tabs. If I'm done with this layout and I don't want to use it anymore, I can simply swipe left on the name of the layout and I get options to update, rename, or delete this layout. So this is a great option if, you have, if you're using the mobile app a lot and you have lots of different ways that you use it. Feel free to create layouts with different uh, configurations of books and, and you can come right back to them. Now I'm just going to go back here to the scriptures, I want to show you a couple more of the buttons down here below. On the far left here, we have the home page. And if I open this up, this is very similar to the home page on the desktop app. You can notice here we have the cards. I have a cards to open up the liturgy of the day. I have a quick start layout with my Bible and a commentary. I can add or remove cards here with the plus button. So feel free to play around with these. If you want to move the cards around, uh, simply click on one of them. Let me close this, uh, this window there. Click and hold on one of them until it begins to wiggle a little bit, and then you can move it around. Notice Verbum created automatically a card for me when I just told Verbum I'd like to read through the fulfillment of all desire, created a reading plan card for me. So now I have this right there, tells me how much I've done uh, of, the, of the plan already, and I can simply click here and begin reading. You can also configure uh, the home page a little bit. Notice if I scroll down here, there's a, a, an explore section. There's the store section up here. There is a gear up here. If I click on this, I can then choose edit and turn on and off the sections that I like. Maybe I don't want to see the store there. Not a problem. Simply deselect that, click save, and now uh, we only have the, the dashboard 
and the Explore section. When you're done with the home page, simply choose Done. Down here below, there's also a Search tab option, and I can click on this, and Verbum opens up a search pane. And with some search helps here, I can simply type uh, anything that I want to search for in the search pane. And notice here that when I begin to type here in this pane, Verbum allows me to choose where I want to search and in what range I want to search if it's a Bible search. So if I were to want to search in a specific book, I can tap here on Top Bibles. And when I do so, I'll minimize this, Verbum gives me a list of books that I can choose from. And if I don't see the book here or the collection that I'm interested in, not a problem. Notice Resource, simply choose Select a Resource. And now I have access to my entire library. I could choose to search in the fulfillment of all desire, for example, for something and find those results. So that's uh, very useful and very powerful. The last option here on the bottom of the screen is this pane that gives me a, a kind of a summary of all the different tools that Verbum offers. Notice here, for example, I have the fact book, the passage guide, the Bible word study, text comparison. So, so many different tools. Uh, that Verbum offers, and I can uh, go through these and, and use them. I really enjoy using, for example, the fact book on the mobile app. We could run here a fact book, say, on uh, the temple, and notice all the information that Verbum uh, gives me here. Just like on the desktop app, I have a key article here from the Catholic Bible Dictionary. Uh, I have media that I can pull up, key passages, biblical senses, uh, and so on. It's just amazing uh, the amount of information that you have at your fingertips with this mobile app. So I invite you to get to know it. Think about some of the books you might want to read. Maybe read through the scriptures uh, this year using the mobile app. And when you're out and about and you have a Bible question, know that you have your entire library and all of the tools of Verbum at your, uh, right at your fingertips.